Hey, what's up? This is Kevin from Peacock Inside Tech, and this is my Pixel 4 versus iPhone 11 camera comparison, Barcelona edition, one of my favorite cities, by the way. Starting with the selfie camera, the video from the front facing camera, I would say is better on the iPhone 11. It just looks better. The colors are great. The dynamic range is a lot better. You can see a lot of the, a lot more of the background. The sky isn't blown out like on the Pixel. Switching over to the rear facing cameras, this also shows you the stabilization to see which one handles my footsteps a little better. And they're probably about the same. I don't see much of a difference. They look equally as good. Very smooth video. I would have to mention though that the iPhone can shoot 4K at 60 frames per second, but this video is only exported at 30 frames per second, so it doesn't make much difference. You wouldn't be able to see it, but you can trust me when I say that the iPhone's 4K 60 is probably the best on any smartphone that I've seen. This is an audio test to see which mic quality sounds better. Let me know what you guys think. The Pixel now, and now we're switching over to the iPhone. This clip was shot inside of the mall with indoor lighting, and in this one, I can't see a difference. I think they're equally as good. I mean, they're a little difference in contrast, but they both look great. This is me approaching a Spanish pigeon gang while they're eating lunch. Here you can see that the video quality is about the same. Again, I like the contrasty look with the Pixel 4, but the iPhone 11's video is a little more balanced and flat. The colors are a little more even, but I personally like the contrasty look of the Pixel 4. Okay, let's look at some portrait pictures, and this is taken from the front facing camera. I personally like the Pixel 4's one a little bit better. I think it's a little more flattering with my skin, and I like how blurry the background is. It's not too blurry like on the iPhone, but the good thing is on the iPhone you can adjust the blur after the fact, but straight out of the camera like this, I think I prefer the Pixel 4's image a little bit more. This is a portrait of a statue that I saw, and you can see here that the Pixel 4 is a little more cropped in. I mean, it uses the standard lens for portraits and just crops in a bit. It doesn't use the telephoto lens, which is kind of weird, but the iPhone 11 does the same. It just doesn't crop in and it gives you more of what's going on. So you can see a lot more of the background and what's in the foreground, but I personally think it's better when it's cropped in closer to like a 50 millimeter portrait lens. So I would go with the Pixel here. Here's another statue in portrait mode, and as you can see again, the pixel cropped in to give it more of that portrait type of photo. I like it a little bit more here again, and also the background blur is, in my opinion, a little bit better, but this is a personal preference thing. Some people like if the background is also a lot sharper that you can see more in the background, but for a portrait, I prefer the more blurred out background where the subject is more in focus. But I like the colors on the iPhone a little bit better. They're a little more vibrant and pleasing to me. Here's another portrait of a mime that I ran into, and I think I like the Pixel's picture again. I just prefer it. I think maybe it's because of the crop, but also the edge detection is a little bit better, I feel like, than on the iPhone. The iPhone's picture looks good too, but I just personally like the Pixel 4's picture here better. And this lady was creeping me out. Now this is just a standard selfie. And again here, I like the Pixel 4 a little bit better. I think it's more flattering if you look at the skin. And if you look at to the back, the dynamic range is a bit better. If you look at the museum, you can see a lot more of the museum. And in this shot, I prefer the iPhone shot a lot more. Um, it exposed the sun a lot better and the background, the sky is a little bluer. It looks a little more natural and the foreground is also better in my opinion. They're both great shots, but in this one, the iPhone takes it. In this shot, I really don't see much of a difference. I mean, there's a slight difference in color and the color temperature, but overall the detail is the same. They're both awesome shots. 
in this shot once again there's not much difference they're both great shots but if i had to choose i would say that the iphone a little bit better because it exposed the front of the building better and also preserving the sky at the same time this is a situation where you actually could use an ultra wide lens like the iphone 11 has which the pixel 4 does not sadly google said that they think that zooming in is a little more important than an ultra wide what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments if you prefer an ultra wide or a telephoto lens. But a telephoto lens is also nice to have. The Pixel 4 comes with a 2x optical zoom and what Google calls super res zoom, which is their computational photography used to optimize photos digitally. And from what I've seen, it is definitely on par with phones with optical telephoto lenses up to 8x zoom i don't know about you but i think the quality of this image is really good if you think about that it's just digital zoom you could definitely use this photo now let's look at some night photography the iphone finally comes with a night mode this year and the pixel 4 improved on its night sight feature and i see that here because i personally think that the pixel 4 did a better job here if you look at the top left corner the exposure of the tree and the lights and there's a lot less noise on the pixel they both look great, but if you look at the overall exposure of the building of the arena, I think the Pixel 4 looks a little bit better. But here, I think the iPhone is doing better. I like the color of the sky better. It's a darker, more natural looking blue. And the Pixel has, for some reason, a lot more noise here. It's pretty weird, but the pixel looks a little more natural how it looked in real life but i prefer the colors and how the picture looks on the iphone on this one i think i like the pixels a bit more again because of the more natural colors it wasn't as orange as it looks on the iphone's picture on the right but the iphone picture does look good i like the color of the sky on the iphone a little bit better but choosing i think the pixel did better here here are a couple more samples that I took with each phone, and I have to say overall they're both great cameras. You wouldn't be upset with either one of them, like they're two of the best cameras on the market that you can get right now. Because of the Pixel's history, I actually thought that the Pixel 4 would blow the iPhone 11 away this year, but I was shocked when the iPhone actually had some better shots than the Pixel 4 did this year. and. I have to give it up to Apple. They really closed the gap this year with the picture quality. It's to the point where I can't even choose a winner in picture quality here. If it would have been any other year in the past, it was always, in my opinion, the Pixel. But this year, I just can't decide. Let me know which one you guys think performed better in pictures. But for me, without a doubt, the iPhone does take better video. The 4K60 on the iPhone, as I mentioned earlier, is some of the best that I've ever seen on any smartphone. And you can get this quality across all lenses on the phone, even the selfie camera, which is amazing. And unfortunately, the Pixel stops or it caps out at 4K 30 frames per second, which is okay for most people. But like a creator like me that wants to use my smartphone to record some clips for a YouTube video or a blogger or a vlogger, it's just more flexible and you can do more with the 60 frames per second thanks for watching my video again don't forget to subscribe and follow me on instagram at peacock inside tech for more daily updates and i'll catch you in the next video